Hello, hello, welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into reference architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm Rob, your host, joined today with a guy who uses AWS Chatbot to reply to all my emails. Tom? Hey, Rob. Managing high-performance workflows can be time-consuming and costly. Scale-out computing on AWS helps our customers build out compute-intense EC2 clusters on the AWS cloud. Let's go take a look. Tom, talk to me about scale-out computing on AWS. Let's have a look. This is the landing page for the solution. Uh, as with all our solutions, we have an architectural diagram, a link to a CloudFormation template, so within a couple of clicks, you can have it up and running in, in your account, a detailed implementation guide, and a link to the source code that's available in GitHub. Lots of good resources for our customers. So show me the architecture diagram, please. Sure. All right, where are we starting? So this solution is all about scaling out high-performance compute. OK, what kind of customers actually need this? Uh, this is typically geared towards manufacturers, um, uh, companies in sort of electronics, if you're trying to simulate or uh, use compute to design your mm -hmm. applications and, your, um, and the physical devices themselves. Computer-aided design, anywhere you need lots and lots of computers. Exactly, power. yes. OK, so where does it start? We actually have a, a UI that helps customers we Watch it. do. Uh, there is a web interface that has a number of options in it, so it's actually hosted on an EC2 instance. OK, the EC2 controlling the other EC2? Correct, Pretty yes. meta? Very meta. All right. Um, that's fronted by an elastic load balancer um, so that we can secure that EC2. And uh, it has authentication built in, so you do need to log in to get into the machine. Okay. So this control EC2 is actually launching and scaling out the other compute. What? kind of instances are we using for that? Um, it, it can be configured to any type of instance that you need. Okay. Um, there's, um, this is typically aimed at you know some of the higher, larger size gotcha. EC2 More instances. More powerful. Exactly. Can we use spot instances? You can use support. Uh, there is support for spot instances, yep. And what about reserve? Uh, something you'd have to configure ahead of time, but yes, you could use reserve okay. too. So some cost savings that we could generate through this, even though we're scaling out. Correct, yes. Gotcha. So where are we actually storing the information from these computers? So we're running the jobs through Python scripts on that master node. Mm -hmm. That's going to spin up a series of EC2 instances in a uh, auto-scaling group. Okay. And all of those are going to write out their results or the data is going to get written to S3. And so while we're scaling this up through auto-scaling, are we also scaling it We're down? also scaling down. So think of it as a job that you could repeat again and again, but you don't have to keep those instances up and running. Gotcha. And they're storing it inside of EFS? They're storing inside of S3. Okay. EF, uh, EFS is being used as a shared network storage. Gotcha. And what is FSX for Lustre doing? That is a very high performance, low latency file system that you can use in the cloud for those EC2 So instances. an option that we could add for better performance. Correct. It doesn't come deployed with a solution, but it's something that you could use. OK. And I also see we have Elasticsearch. We do. That's going to be used to uh, catalog all of the data that you have in S3. It's also going to help catalog some of the job definitions and any of the data. Searchable the index then for the results. Correct, yeah. Can you walk me through what the UI looks like? Yeah. Uh, this is the main site. Um, there's two different areas. There's, we have an anal analytics area, but this is the main management area. Okay. So I would, when I'm creating a job, I would come in here and I could actually start a session on my master node. This is for the control EC2. Instance. For the control EC2, you can run that up as uh, an SSH connection or a desktop um, session okay. if you need a desktop session. And from there, I would then create, deploy, and manage my jobs. From actual scale-out. The actual scale-out, yeah. And where are we capturing the analytics you mentioned? Uh, so we've got that in S3. We've got Elasticsearch. And the solution does come with a Kibana uh, dashboard as well. OK, so can we see the Kibana dashboard? So this is the, this is the dashboard. Um, I don't have any real data in here, but just to give you an idea of what that might look like, here's okay. some sample data that was set up. So you can imagine this would be the analytics on your, the actual jobs that you're running. So lots of good information that we're capturing as these jobs are going. Correct, yeah. That's awesome. Pretty powerful scale-out computing. Very powerful. Thanks, Tom. That was a good look at scale-out computing on AWS, which helps our customers manage their high-performance compute workloads. Pretty cool stuff. Come check this and all our other solutions out on our website. See you there.